And welcome back to the Nicey Workbench down here. Uh, another edition of the, uh, the Minneapolis Northwestern In Scale Model Railroad. Uh, just a little update on the uh, the Allied Cement Plant project. Um, done a little work on this since the last time I uh, gave you any kind of an update. I've had to rearrange a few things here because of the position of the tracks and so forth, so it's a little different from what I was uh, intending earlier, but uh, I think it's working out okay. Um, give you a little update. My light here, I'm sorry, it's not the greatest, but uh, zoom in a little bit on some of the details I've been working on. All these little braces here for the uh, transfer house, they were all uh, built in place because I had a hard time just kind of trying to build these little things to fit right and so the best uh, solution turned out to be to just build them in place. So uh, just little uh, little tiny uh, strips of uh, styrene and a couple of rods there to support it but all these all these little strips were cut and glued in place or just all built in place and it uh, would seem to be the best solution. I tried a few different ways to uh, make those braces and um, just didn't quite like the way they turned out so uh, this turned out to be the best solution. I've got the track work in here. Um, I made a little trench for uh, offloading cars uh, that goes right into the uh, the transfer house. There's a smaller trench for trucks. All this little stuff around here would be filled in with ground cover so you really won't see anything except the open trench there. I'm gonna try to make a little road or a little drive going over that uh, that trench. Um, let's see, the garage is uh, Got some roof details added to it, uh, a couple of little supporting structures. I've uh, been trying to do a little bit of landscaping um, to uh, get the uh, roads or the drives and things in here. Using this, uh, it's called Rough Gray Pumice by uh, Valle uh, Vallejo, and um, using this as kind of all the little rough drive areas here on the roads. Uh, I'm going to paint it a little bit because it's uh, it's spread on there so thin the color looks a little little uh, weak here and there. Um, so I'm going to try a little paint on it to uh, try to get a little more make it look a little more solid. Next thing to do will be to ballast the tracks. Uh, tracks that are coming along in the front here and I try to do a little bit of scenery of some sort in the front here, a little a few inches or so of bare board that needs to be filled in with some ground cover. You can see here the original article got quite a different layout than what I've got uh, showing on uh, what I did here. I wanted to get the the uh, trench here a little further down from the edge of the board so uh, that necessitated moving the whole plant down this way and putting the garage over here so um, there's going to be a few more details back here in the back you see in the original plan they've got some little stone bins in the back uh up in the upper top the top part of the plan there they got some little stone bins and i'm going to put a few of those back here uh, i've got more vehicles and so forth to uh, populate the the scene I'm going to use this uh, Woodland Phoenix Fine Ballast the Gray Blend 
for the ballast on the tracks and I've got a little procedure I really uh, found works very well for me. Uh, my favorite little tool for spreading ballast, you might recognize this, this is a, uh, um, a little pad from an edge painter. A little thing you use for painting a wall for along the edges and uh, this is actually a replacement pad that I've cut to size uh, just to make it a little smaller and easier to work with but I really like how this works because I can all I need to do is just brush it along the top of the rails there and, and I get a nice even distribution of the ballast I just keep brushing it out, straightening it out until uh, I get all the ballast brushed off the top of the ties. And I just kind of slowly work it down the tracks. But I keep brushing it here until, until I get the ballast mostly brushed off the top of the ties here. Just kind of keep working it down. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's got a little bit more work to do on it, but once I spread it out, that's the that's the hard part. I always thought uh, it's kind of tedious, kind of trying to get ballast to look good. Um, but for me, I like this this technique, and I'll come back and wet it with some alcohol, and then I go over it with what I call some drippy glue, uh, just some diluted white glue to uh, fasten it down to the board. So I'm going to continue spreading this out and. Uh, We'll take a look at it a bit later. And you can see we got the ballast has all been sprayed with uh, with the isopropyl alcohol to kind of moisten it, and then I just go over it with uh, the drippy glue to uh, secure all the ballast in place. And spraying it with alcohol kind of wets the uh, the ballast so that the glue doesn't beat up and mess up the uh, the nicely spread out ballast and it's going to take a while for all this to dry of course it's all soaked with with uh, drippy glue and it still looks pretty good to take down nice and flat after being spread out
And I've turned this thing around a little bit so I can work on the back side. Uh, I started finishing up the ground cover here. Ground cover is a bit rough and uneven. It's not quite as nice as I would have liked it to be. Um, I actually had to tear up a chunk here because it didn't turn out so well, so I had to redo that. I um, also made a fence with uh, some little, you can see a little close up on this, some uh, I beams and uh, some concrete panels there along the back road here. The road uh, kind of repainted a little bit, refinished a little more. Got some light poles in here and I've added some more bracing in the back uh, up here for the uh, conveyors and so forth. And just trying to work on this little back corner here. All the buildings have been fixed to the base here. I normally don't like trying to fix buildings to the base, uh, but with all the built-in place little structures in here, it's kind of necessary to do that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to put all the little braces in there. So pretty much everything is going to be stuck to the base. So I hope uh, all the lighting continues to work. Otherwise, it's going to be a bummer to, to try to fix the lighting. And you can see here a little trench that I made for uh, trucks to empty and load into. Put a truck here. There you go. You can see where the trucks will offload onto the little trench there. And so that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, eventually I'm going to move over here to this side of the board and look at all the mess. All my stuff. I'm a messy modeler. Uh, I'll, I'll get to work on the garage here, all the ground cover around the garage and get that in place. And uh, once I get kind of stuff in the back here done, then I'll flip this thing around and start uh, working on the front again. So, um, but just a little update on where we're at. So uh, appreciate you dropping by. Thanks for staying. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time on the, uh, the Minneapolis Northwestern Inscale Model Railroad. Take care, everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye.